Okay, David and Kathy, this is 135 Cumberland Island Circle. Decided to take a video since we can't FaceTime. And I'm going to put this on YouTube. So we walk into the house. First thing we got off to the right is a little office with double French door entry. Carpet that's in pretty good shape. Pretty much brand new. Looks like uh, engineered hardwood floors throughout the house here. Off to the right, we have a formal dining room, dual columns, coffered ceilings, and chair rail or uh, wainscoting on the uh, on the walls. Laundry room is immediately off to the left. Pretty good size. And we can walk out to the garage since it's right here. Three car garage, we've got a little bit of stuff in here. Pretty good size. Uh, ceilings uh, trade there, so they've actually taken advantage of that and made extra storage up there. And now we enter into the main living area with the kitchen. We've got uh, coffered ceilings, very interesting ceiling pattern. I think it's pretty cool. Um, with two recessed lights. Fireplace, that is a gas fireplace. There's a kitchen, huge island. This island's probably 15 feet long with the with the sink dishwasher on it these are soft clothes um, cabinetry which is nice nice gas stove plant burners Microwave is over here. And then this home has a double convection oven. That's two convection ovens, one on top of the other, which is nice. And there's both uh, kitchen aids. You got this little nook area here. Here's the refrigerator. It's an LG double stainless steel. And there is an additional nook area here with a wine cooler. And some more cabinetry. That's the uh, formal dining room right there. And here is the pantry for the house. Not huge, but it's larger than uh, Bar Harbor Way, which was just basically a linen closet. So this one's got a little bit more storage room. As you can see, they've got it pretty chock full. So moving on, we'll go to the master real quick. Here's a double door entry. Uh, I'm not going to try to open that. I might break it, but I'm sure you can open that door. Actually, I think I figured it out. There we go. Okay, so we got a double door entry on the master. Master has its own, uh, own uh, entrance to the uh, patio area back here, which is very nice. Uh, trade ceilings in the master as well and this master the bedroom itself is actually uh, I'd say it's actually a little bit smaller than at least the bedroom portion is a little bit smaller than Bar Harbor Way I was kind of surprised but one thing this house does have that's much better is the closets are much larger this is the smaller of the two obviously uh, the man's closet here and here's the larger closet. This is a massive closet with built-ins. So the closets are much better on this house. And there's even a linen closet here too, right off the bathroom. So you should have plenty of storage space. 
Here is the master master bath. You've got a vanity here. These look like some sort of stone granite countertops, undermount sinks, and you have a larger vanity over here. Toilet, water closet is over here. Garden tub, step in shower, and kind of coordinated match tile throughout. Everything looks to be in good shape. So you actually got a dual shower head here, which is nice overhead in this one here. Now that across the street, we'll get to that. That is a lot, I believe that is owned by the community. I don't believe they're gonna build, don't quote me on this. I don't believe they're gonna build any houses there. I think that was intentionally left open as kind of a green area or a park for the community. And you'll see they're building other houses around here. They haven't built anything. I haven't seen any type of sign that indicates that those are for sale. And it goes all the way back to the other side of the street, to the, to the other street which you'll see as we get out here. So I think that's intentionally a green space, which is nice. It means that nobody's ever gonna build over there. You see it goes all the way over. So the backyard, this would technically be the backyard here. It's fenced in. Now, one thing that's unusual about this house, if you look at it from the street and also from the satellite view, the house is very deep and it's kind of narrow on the lot so consequently you don't really have a this is your backyard here it does have a gate that goes out to that bull park but most of the yard is actually on the side of the house and they've fenced it in because they have a dog they have a black lab but the major portion of the yard is actually on the side of the house and it looks like it, it's it's kind of strange the first thing you see when you pull up the house is the garage door on the side of the house. You, you would think that that's where the front of the house should be, but it's actually it's actually over here, not here, where you would think it would be. So it, it kind of looks a little, little strange. But there is quite, quite a bit of room in the backyard. All right, now moving on. We've got two bedrooms down here which they are using, um, they have two kids. Obviously a girl's room here, pretty good sized bedroom with a bathroom here, full bath. Linen closet. And there's kind of a landing that they're using as a play area here, which is kind of cool. So this could be additional space for other activities. And this is just another closet here. <clears throat> so here's another bathroom. Here's another full bathroom right on the other side of this area with another room. So each room actually has its own bathroom, which is kind of cool because normally in this configuration, you'd see some sort of a Jack and Jill bathroom, but each room has its own bathroom. And this is the boys' room. So... We got one more room to show you. Moving upstairs, this is the bonus room. Come up, has a landing area right here. This is all carpet here, um, but it's in really good shape. It seems like it's brand new. So pretty good size landing area. I'll just give you like a 360 right here. And then I'll show you that in a second. That is a massive, massive storage area. Full bathroom up here, pretty large, good size with the uh, granite countertops as well. Pocket door leading into this room, which is really a, like an oversized room. It's a pretty large bonus room. They've got actually two, uh, this one looks like a full size. That actually looks like a queen two beds in here so really good size room for stuff now this is cool this is a massive uh, attic storage area and you can see they're making pretty good use of it actually one of your uh, or both excuse me both of your air conditioning system air handlers are up here in this uh, storage room area So 
so that's that. Um, overall, uh, you know, it's probably a little comparable to to a Bar Harbor Way. That home obviously has a pool, which is nicer. It backs up to a preserve, so you have more privacy in that house. Um, but uh, I think this could be a, a pretty good contender at you know six hundred thousand. It's uh, it's quite nice, and hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, if you want to see more about the layout of the house, just look at it on a satellite view. And um, I guess we could. Oh, well, there are some there's some pictures from the street and stuff. So. Anyway, hope you enjoyed my video, and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Thanks.